more of his losing matchups. Okay. But here we go. Yet again, stage choice on this particular matchup is going to be super important for both players. I mean, it's kind of a pick your poison, right? right. For Elegant, he kind of has to take into consideration what stages would be my best option and what stages would be my worst. And honestly, taking it to Final Destination wouldn't be the best choice. And obviously, going with the classic play um, PS2. Here we go. There's the Luigi. I know. I, it's hey. one of those things where, like, when you have a secondary that you know, like, your main loses the matchup and you have a secondary that's like not quite up to snuff like yeah do you, what do you do with do you do the losing matchup even though you know it's like your better character or do you do the more even matchup even though it's your worst character and i kind of always want to tell players like you always want to put your best foot forward if that doesn't fall understand that you can always have a backup plan but also understand why you might have lost up the first time around here Yet again, all these combos coming out from the cross. Ooh, almost falling for the the holy water, but not going to be able to try land it in time. Ah, uh, like it immediately goes for the up B out of shield, gets the downer, no other special yet again. But I do like how it goes for the up air. But unfortunately, he died. Excuse me. I know that's strong, but like <laughs> he was at like 30. I mean, for Elegant, he's going to have to take it to the bank and cash in as soon as possible here. Because I mean, that's a lead that he's going to need for the rest of the game. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Near no. dodge. You know t is just kicking himself in the shins right now. Just because you know that he lost two super early stocks for this stupid reason. Nice. I like how he's using the cross. He's gonna, the cross also goes under the ledge. Down throw, what a change up in the DI here. You know Typically, what? Luigi would be expecting forward throw to DI the right way, but I, I like mean, the mix I don't know why he didn't go for the sword throw, because forward throw probably would have killed right there. Heck, I thought Oscar would have killed right there, but you know what? Elegant will just lose it to the forward air. Yeah. Elegant up two stocks here, he knows he cannot get flustered. He's the one with the lead here. One grab could definitely change the pace of the game for Elegant and make sure he secures the victory. But one misplay could also lead to a lot of percent here. Right. And he starts off on the right foot here, 92% time for T3. And again, and that up B right there, tell, or maybe it's no, I'm wrong, because the grounded up B is stronger. There we go. Mm. Just as I, was, as I was saying, uh, grounded up B is stronger. Yeah. Oh my god. It is, it's much stronger and guarantees the knockout animation to be right. at a higher percent. You know what? He definitely threw away that first game. There were, there were a lot of mistakes that he made. <laughs> hey, but you know what? When you throw away the first game, I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. Like, you know, he had a couple misinputs, a couple errors here. I wouldn't so much like to call it throwing away. I mean, I agree and disagree, but like when you think about it, right? At that last situation, he's like, you know what? I'm going to have to throw away. I am going to have to throw away this game. Come back game two here and right. see what I can do. And you know what? He's kind of like glad that this is a best of three. Or, yeah, best of five. You know? Yeah. It, it most definitely yeah. Bryce takes his time here. I look at knows, you know what? Last game was such a big momentum swing for me here. Having T3 at 80%, sensing the low recovery yeah. will do enough here. And yet again, that's what I was talking about earlier. It's just getting in between Richter and the, the corner of the stage. They're going to be in front of the stage here. So far, TG looking to make the first victory here at 92. 0% taken. He's looking to make sure he covers everything from Elegant, but except that back out of shield. Narrowly missing the up air. I mean, yet again, he kind of DI'd forward and Elegant DI'd back, so the, the two collided to just barely miss the up air. Oh, oh no. I had a feel too, and I felt like he might have wasted the jump on the last one. All right. 
Did it probably cast it on my eye? Oh, and like, I like it right before he even gets the pull up animation. Elegant is there to make sure, you know what, TK has something to fight for. And, oh, he was looking for the combo off of the axe, or not the axe across, but. That was good. That was a good DI mix up on Elegant's part, too. He went for a down throw, looking for the percent and the possible KO, and T3 unable to tether grab. All right. You know, that was the two frame off of it, but T3 really needs to find his footing in the matchup soon. With the way Elegant is being relentless here, especially at Soka Chronicles, T3 is looking to just might be taking this as a 3 0 against. All right. Nice. Waits for the landing, but T3 strikes back with the back air. And again, kind of just hoping Elegant would stay at ledge, but you know what? Elegant not falling for that, knowing exactly the timing he needs in order to avoid that. Down air, I like it. One more opportunity here, but Elegant doesn't get it right before he gets the pull-up animation, but he goes for the try and true special here on the Cyclone. Right. Oh, oh no. no! He saw it, he's just like, grabbed the ledge, and then I feel like the, the plunger, because there was a hitbox in between him yeah. and the ledge, it, the, the thing said, oh, you want to hit the thing, right? I'll, I'll totally let you hit the thing and not grab ledge. <laughs> that, that's what you wanted, right? Well, nonetheless, I mean, T3 down 2-0. I mean, if it's do or die time, it's going to have to be now for T3. Dude, imagine if Belmont had like a tether grab, like grab with the chain whip. The thing is, is that they do. It's just the way that it works for them. No, I like, but like, I like a regular grab. Oh, you know. Oh, that would not be great. Yeah. But if I, maybe if you can feel enough pressure on the shield to force your opponent to hold shield long enough, the way you would with CSS, and then get grabs. I mean, it's Belmont. Like you're pretty much always positioning them to be a shield. Right. But like, because I feel like there needs to be. Like, their tether is just like, sometimes like it's an attack, and other times it's like, oh, it's a grab, you know? Or like it's a tether to the ledge. Uh, buffs and nerfs to be had, honestly, for for the Belmonts. I mean, we'll see if they are able to change that for the Belmonts, keep it the right. same way, or maybe cha uh, change it to where you are able to grab the ledge, right. even if there is an item in play. But for Elegant here, he has taken those, cha those changes that have not been made and cashed them into the back in the bank for two points. And yet again, this was the matchup I was expecting with T3. You know, this was the kind of lead that I was expecting T3 to play in the match. Yeah, big lead. Kind of sitting back here. Of course, the Axe will able to take it at much higher percents. But also, Luigi's weight is a supplement to that. Oh, grabs him right out of the air. Oh, that was the auto turnaround, too. I mean, Elegant kind of understands too, you know what, I gotta get in as close as possible, get my grabs, get my damage, because the one thing that Richter and Simon cannot deal with is close quarters combat. All right. Nice, saving that jump so you lose the directional air dodge to come back. Uh, and you know, Tikri is just looking for that one option to get the kill. Oh, oh no. I feel like he wasn't expecting to get spiked right there. Yeah, and this is looking like a curtain call for T3. Uh, I mean, I feel like that's just been the entire set. It's like T3 just dies tragically to something. Yeah. Speaking of tragic deaths here, that one's going to be enough to be for T3, 8% here by Elegant, making sure, you know what? I didn't lose my stock. You're going to be the one to lose it next. 26% here to, to Rick here. Oh, this I could mean, be Curtains, and it is not enough. No. 88%, but that's such a big percent lead for Elegant. Yet again, you know what? 120% almost. Like, it was even. It was even like 10 seconds ago. Yeah. And now... Honestly, one one error for T3 was pretty much what put Elegant in such a deficit in terms of a lead. But T3 can definitely keep it up 62 to 140. All right. I mean, all he needs is just keep up this solid wave of defense. But you know what? Kalos has been 
The Kalos Blast Zones has been his best friend so far. Yeah. Trying to watch out here. Uh, TP has to be careful on the landing. Fights for center stage with the back air. Yeah. Four, Elegant will take it. Three, oh, Elegant getting the run back from time to far and changing the bracket for T3. And 